All right, we have sweet Sophie out of the bath. You can see she got me all wet too. There will be naked baby parts in this video, so if you're easily offended, then keep going, keep scrolling, don't watch. But that's part of bathies, being naked. Get her all nice and dry. See if we can roll her over and dry this back. Tushy. Okay. Now here's the part where you powder them. I take normal baby powder. Make sure it's not talc. Talc is so bad for everybody. Pure cornstarch is this. Put some in a bowl and I just Get a nice big mop brush. Oh, is that not in the picture? I'll put it over there. And then you can dust it on the baby. Oh, I dusted the towel instead. Dust it on. The powder helps the soften the skin so that it doesn't attract so much hair and lint. And it also helps when you go to dress them so that there's no Should wear and tear more. on their material. Come in here. There's a chest. Raymond. Raymond, give me in. I got you a golden chest. There's a golden chest there. There's that. I gotta get off this towel. This towel is wet. <coughs> Let me do that real quick. There. Oh, look at the bed head. Or we'll call it the bath head. There we go. Trying to make sure she's in the picture here. There will be a little white and powdery at first after you apply some the powder. That will go away as the powder wears off. But at least you'll have them all dressed and ready for bed by then. Powdering. Powder, powder, powder. She's got a wet toe. Miss Sophie Ann here. Hey, she down. is the Elaine Sculpt by Maribel Villanova, from an artist from Spain. This is her newest full body baby. Isn't she sweet? I can't get over how gorgeous she is, bed head and all. It's my first Villanova baby, and let me tell you, I'm pretty impressed. Just a little bit of powder on the face. Don't want to make her too chalky. But I also don't want fuzz balls and everything sticking on there. There. All right. Let's roll ya and do your back. <laughs> She's got such hair. Yeah, even with powder, the hair will stick to them eventually. All right. Whoa, that was a little bit much. There we go. Dust, dust, dust. Nobody can breathe. That works. You can hear my kids in the background. They are home from school. They let mommy play with dolls. They're good boys. They've grown up around my babies. All right, little miss. All powdered. 
We'll grab her diaper. Lift the trishy up. As with any baby, you put a little extra powder in the diaper area, keep them dry and fresh. These diapers are a little bit big on her, but they are my standard ones that I buy for the babies I make. I have to say, I did not paint this one. I do paint them, but not this one. Yay! Her hands are a little chalky right now. Right. Alright, let's get the hair. Let's. This is mohair conditioner. I got this at a doll show a couple years ago, and honestly, I don't know what's in it, but it's fabulous. Here's where I'm using the toothbrush <laughs> an old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toothbrush. Yep, yep. seems to work best. Pulls out the minimum amount of hair. She might need a hair trim actually. Her hair is quite long in the back. Mm -hmm. She could almost have a ponytail there. Might need a little trim. Alright. Yeah, and you learn how to do little baby designs. There we go. There, little Miss Sophia is ready for clothes. We got a onesie. I completely forgot, but normally I put a cap on them when I'm dressing them. Keeps their hair fresh. their arms all the way through the sleeves not to pull on them after this I think Sophie will be ready for a bottle and then bedtime I should do a video where she meets her big sister Violet have you seen the videos of Violet yet She's a big, smiling, happy girl. She loves the little babies. Maybe I'll do that next. Okay. Now, I have all newborn clothes in anticipation for her, but she's almost a little bit too big for some of them. So we'll try it. If it works, it works. There we go. Kids are playing Minecraft together in two separate rooms, so you might hear them. <laughs> they talk to each other while they play together. Okay. Someone. Oi! Her blanket is so silky, it slides around on my kitchen counter here. Lots of times also when I dress the silicone babies I can put little hand mitts on them and that makes it easier to get the arms in and out or socks on the feet. Anything to help smooth it out. This might fit her. Yay! If she stretched her legs out anymore or wouldn't. Alright. There Miss Sophie. All dressed for night night time. All right, I'm gonna go get her ready for a bottle. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Bye bye.